Okay, this is Joel with JRK Family Outdoors. In this video, we want to talk about the different options you have for your stoves in order to cook full food. In our last video, we showed you the propane single burner. Now, if you have a model like this that has the tank set up, you can use propane on this stove. Basically all you do is you take this tank out and you set it aside. And you buy one of these models. This is a generator for a propane bottle. This fits in here just like the other tank did. It has a little spring here that you pull up, hook over, and it's ready to go. Now at this point you can use a propane bottle just like this one. This will screw right on there. You turn this on, gas comes through, light your, uh, light your coil here. You can even light your other side. It will run just like it did before with your tank. Another option here to also run propane is you have a hose. Now this hose here has one end that's just like the propane little propane bottles. You screw this into here and the other one will come up here and screw right into your propane tank. Now I have this up here like this just so you can see it. I don't recommend you using your tank up above your stove like this. Again, by doing that, it will run just the same as if you had your tank in here. Now let me show you yet another option for this tank. This is called a tree, a propane tree. What this does is it attaches to your tank the hose bends around and tightens into your bottle. Now keep in mind on propane when you use the inside threads it is a left turn thread. So in order to tighten it you have to turn it to your left as though you would be loosening anything else. Get that nice and snug, nice and tight. Let me pull this down here so you can see this a little bit better. Once you have this attached you can see that there's one, two, three outlets on this tree. Now on these side outlets here, on all of them, they're the same size and the same thread as the top of this bottle. At this point, we use this kind of hose. We have a male end, which is the same thread here. This will tie into your stove. Now the other end has a female end on it. And this will basically just come right on here and thread on. Now these have right turn threads on it so you tighten it up just like you would anything else. The only one that's different is down here on your propane bottle. Now you're hooked up and you're ready to go. Now this leaves you another option for having yet another hose that would go to say a little barbecue. This is a little grill that we always take with us. Basically you hook that on there, trick your mail, uh, mail in, tie it in there. Now you got propane set up for this as well. You can feed this, your camp stove, a two burner or a three burner and not have any problems. Now the top outlet is for your lantern. This fits on here just like it would if you were tightening it on to one of your bottles. And now you can run your stove, your barbecue, and a lantern all at the same time and not have any problems. 
Another option for instead of a propane tree, if you don't like this idea, is a T. You can pick up one of these T's. This will screw right into your propane bottle, your uh, five gallon propane bottle, again with reverse threads on it. And you can tie your hoses right directly into the sides there and you can have two outlets in order to feed two different things. Stove, barbecue, you can even tie one of those hoses into the bottom of a lantern and have it draped up and hanging out of a tree if you like. Just another option to go along with all the other accessories. Now it seems like an awful lot to buy all this set up. It's going to cost you a few bucks. But in the long run it's going to end up paying for itself. A gallon of Coleman fuel is roughly nine dollars. I keep several of these on hand just in case. Again, you never know if your bottle's going to run out. You might have to use one of these in order to to be able to cook something. A double pack of propane bottles is roughly six dollars. Not a bad, not a bad price. I keep several of these on hand as well, just for if I want to use my single burner stove or if I just want to put a bottle on my lantern and just walk around you have it more portable. Very good option. But at the same time to fill up one of your propane bottles roughly cost us anywhere from 12 to 16 bucks. And you can run a five gallon propane bottle much much longer than you can on two one pound bottles of propane or a gallon of Coleman fuel. If you have any questions, please comment or send us an email and we will answer any questions you have. Please check out our website and our blog for more information on these items and where you can purchase them. We will also put in there where you can get a nice two burner stove or a three burner stove like in the previous video. Now these stoves here are primarily coming out with the dual fuel pump tanks. They will be a silver gray, and it's just a nice option that if you do run out of Coleman fuel, or you don't have a propane setup like this, you can also use gasoline. It's safe. There's no problems with it. I've done it before in my other single burner stove. I even have a dual fuel uh, lantern, and I've used gasoline in that, and it works just fine. I just like having the options of using different fuels in case of an emergency and so on and so forth. So please come back and watch some more videos. Check out our blog spot for more information on these products. And uh, get out and camp, have fun, take your kids camping, and thanks for watching.